I, and we agree. Oh, oh okay. <laughs> VA. Okay, what's going on here this time? There's no sunshine here. But there's no darkness either. Huh. No rain clouds. No clear skies. No and character club, love, joy, purpose, joy, death, reason, passion. There's only nothing. Hmm. I have no legs to stand with, no eyes to see with, no mouth to talk with. What am I? No, no head, head to, think, to with. think with. I'm not floating, but I'm not sinking. I'm nothing. But somehow, I'm still here, wherever here is. Hmm. And so is she. I can't see her, but I know she's here with me. I can't hear her, but I know she's calling out to me. She's waving at me with a smile. I wave back. I want to talk to her. She wants to talk to me. Just like we used to. Oh, Sayori. And oh, another one of these uh, old classic um, filters such from the yeah, 80s like, and 90s. Like, like, a VCR, like a VCR or something. Yeah, VCR. Like I said, okay. I'm a sucker well, for you, anything well, retro. Well, go ahead and voice <laughs> um, Sayori. Uh. Alright, sure. Why not? I I think starting a literature club's a great idea. You'll get to leave that stupid debate club and finally do something you're actually passionate about, right? Yeah, and that's the same thing I told myself when oh. I left the swim team to join the debate club. Oh, swim yeah, was, team? I think that was Monica. Oh, oh, that's Monica? Well, talking about the debate club, who's the only person who's in the in DDLC who's talked about being in the debate club. Oh right, it's her, it's Monica, okay. Okay, so, so it would be th that's uh, her line? Yeah. And, and that's the same thing I told myself when I left the swim team to join the debate club. And that's the same thing I told myself when I left the calligraphy club to start to join the swim team. <sighs> this literature club will probably end the same way. After a few weeks, it'll feel soulless to me. In a couple of months, I want to disband the club. It feels like all I ever do is bounce from one hobby to another, trying to find myself. But in the end, all I do is disappoint myself and waste everyone's time. Hey, don't you think you're being too hard on yourself? I mean, you're still in high school. Isn't this, like, the time everyone spends trying to figure themselves since figure themselves out and stuff? Plus, with your skills and smarts, I bet the sky's the limit for you. You could do almost anything. So it's- so I think it's normal that you're still trying to figure out what you really like, since you got a, so many options. Yeah, but... Where's the fun in that? What do you mean, what's the fun? Don't you know what they say? It's about the journey, not the destination. Well... Right now, it feels like I'm on a million journeys. Sure, finding my... passion... is one journey I'm on. But something like high school is another journey I'm on. So is my prep work for university. Or the cross-country training I do in my free time. And each relationship in our lives is another journey you share with that person. So that's another journey with you, another journey with my mom, another journey with... You get the picture. So on and, and then so finally, forth. And finally, there's the journey. Life itself. Uh... I was going somewhere with this. <laughs> You sound like you're in another debate club meeting. Yeah. Usually I have a couple of note cards nearby to remind me of what I'm trying to say next. 
you were saying about you were saying something about the journey not the destination um uh, uh finding your passion something something life why my point is I feel like I'm already on so many different journeys already and some are just not as fun as others. Like, this journey to find myself kind of sucks. Every time I try something new, I end up feeling a little more soulless. So sometimes, I feel like if I just got to the destination of that journey, maybe it might make me feel better than the journey ever did. If the destination isn't any better than the journey, then at least it's all over. Oh, well, she looks worried. Whoa! Oh, and switch to, we switched to Monica. Oh, so now Sayori's talking now. Still, I think. Yeah. Okay, now I can see the difference there. Um, normal text while her is uh, it's Alec. Like, okay. Thing is, I tell yeah, it's italicized. Sayori's is regular. Okay, okay. Now I, I now I can now I can tell to distinct each other. Uh, did that sound a little too dark? Oh, wait, 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 wait. Okay, no, no, no. I think I get it now. The italicized text is to refer to the po who's, whose point of view we're seeing. I'm seeing the Monica text, right now. The regular text is to refer to the other person. Like, so right now, this is Monica talking, and when it's italicized, it's going to be Sayori talking. Okay, okay, I see. So yeah. I, think, I think that's what it is, yeah. Okay, so... Yeah. Um, okay, okay. We get it. Then that sound a little too... dark? Uh, a little? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I should probably save that kind of talk for my poetry journal, not for our after-school hangouts. Hey, I didn't. I didn't say it sounded bad. If anything, all that journey and destination talk helped me better imagine how you must be feeling after. Uh, about, <laughs> sorry, be feeling <laughs> about that literature club idea. It's okay, sorry. You know, we all oh, have. We still have like... our work sometimes. Ah, uh, thank you. Yep, I sometimes mess up. <laughs> With all that searching you're doing to find yourself. Maybe you're looking in the wrong places? What do you mean? The things you like to do are a pretty important part of who you are. But if you keep asking these questions about finding yourself anyway, then maybe that says more about who you are... who you are than anything else can. My compulsive desire to find my passions, or find myself, my obsession with self-conception. What does any of that say about me? Hmm. I don't know. Sorry, I shouldn't talk about this stuff when I don't really know what I'm saying. I hope you aren't too mad at me. No, I'm not mad. I swear. I I'm just... Thinking, thinking to myself. If it makes you feel any better, I don't really know what I'm doing either. If I think about it for too long, I start wondering what I'm even doing with my life. Or, like, what's the point to any of it? Mm hmm Point to life, is there? That's why we're getting wrapped up in understanding who we are. Oh, that's why we get wrapped up in understanding who we are. Yeah. So we can make our own purpose in life. Yep. But... Understanding yourself is kind of hard, right? Yeah. 
Oh, switch. We switch back. Okay. Thinking too much about life only makes your head hurt. So that's why I try not to think about that stuff for too long. Just have to make the most of the parts of ourselves we already understand. You know, spending time doing random things that make you happy, even if they don't mean much in the long run. Like... Like eating cake. <laughs> or watching a funny TV show. Aye, <laughs> uh, yep. Or even starting a literature club. Well said. Doesn't that all feel a little short-sighted? Just doing things to please yourself in the moment? Sounds very hedonistic. Yeah, kind of is. <laughs> kind of, yeah. None of this cake or club talk changes the fact that... Life doesn't make much sense. There's so much more we could we could do with in our with our lives, but so much of that involves hurting ourselves in the process, and we don't really become a better person after that process. Add on to that all the pressure and expectation everyone's been placing on me too. Hmm. Glob, I don't even know what anyone wants wants me to be anymore, and no amount of cake or whatever will change the fact that I. Don't you don't even know what I want to be. I mean, the cake is nice, but don't you just want don't you want life to just make sense already? Find out the actual reasons why we do anything we do? Instead of flailing around and spending our whole lives guessing why? feels like it never makes any sense. That's just how it is. We don't keep on living because we know it'll make sense one day. We keep going because we don't have anything better to do. If not, then by now we all would have... Would have what? Oh, switching back. Whoa! Where did that come from? <laughs> um... Sounds like our literature club is off to a pretty dark start, huh? <laughs> yeah. But hey, for an unofficial first meeting, I think you're already pulling off some pretty impressive free verse poetry. Kinda makes me wish we had a notebook so we could write all this out. Uh, I think I'm better off not writing the poem. Come on, Sayori. Your poetry's pretty good. You always sparkle. You always sprinkle in these little, these bits of simple wording that carry a lot more meaning than you expect. Like that one chilling bit you said. Something about we all would have something. Uh, oh, just don't worry about that. I was gonna suggest something really stupid that you should never ever do, which mm, is why I, I did suggest it. <laughs> yeah, I wonder, I wonder what that could be. I wonder. <laughs> oh man, um, I want to think about it, but we would be here all day, so uh, yeah, I'm not sure what it is. But were you, but you were going to suggest that? Uh, yeah, I was. Uh, hmm? Hmm. <laughs> I... we forgot what I was going to say. Worry about it. I'll spare you the full wrath of my debate club argument critique this time. <laughs> oh. You'd better. Especially after I caught you slack- caught you slacking big time, Miss I wish I had my note cards. Oh really? Maybe I should go back for my, to my locker and fish out my cards for round two. But listen to Monica make a good argument. That's right. Now, after I destroy your arguments and your public speaking skills, then we'll see who we'll see who's the one giving us silly nicknames, Miss Bowzilla. <laughs> uh, the the Bow Kai Kaiju. Actually, I'll still be the one giving funny nicknames, Miss Sore Loser. Oh, you're on. 
wait, I only agreed to the funny nicknames part. Not the debating part. It's too late. I'm already making you an honorary debate club member. No. <laughs> <laughs> well, with the oh. warm sunset resting on our cheeks, we laughed and laughed the afternoon away. Oh. The afternoon lost its luster, dull and clouded like a worn pearl. Tipped, scratched, yellowed. Hollowed. I still wanted it to be the mo the, the beautiful thing it once was. But the passage of time wasn't, wasn't kind to that precious afternoon. And neither was the truth. Who we are. Why we exist. Oh. Oh. Okay, we're we're suddenly jumping back into regular DDLC now. <laughs> that's uh that's a bit sudden. <laughs> wow. <laughs> okay then. I love it. What? With the warm sunset resting on our cheeks, we laughed and laughed the afternoon away. With the warm memory nestled in our minds, we cried and cried our reality away. What? What the? Okay, I'm not entirely sure if this is like, um, events coming back to us and all that, or prior. I think so. Yeah, but I'm not gonna lie, I think that would be, um, that would be a good concept, and this is pretty executed very well on that one. This can't be all there is. What? What the? It's torture. Every minute of it. <laughs> Please make it stop. With the warm blood dripping off our hands. Wow! <laughs> oh no, not that one picture! No! Oh no! Oh my dear glob of uh. Oh, hori mori lemon grabs ass. Dang! <laughs> <laughs> I laughed and laughed myself away. How could I miss them? A group of autonomous personalities designed only to fall in love with you? How could I miss them? Whoa. There's a piece of broken glass stuck in my foot. I think it hurts. Something red keeps pouring out of my foot. I try to find the bottles. The ones where I keep my happy thoughts. Oh! Oh, it's- oh. I know- I know what this is uh, referencing to. <laughs> Sayori's Bottles poem. I knew. <laughs> but there's only broken glass. What? What? I thought making Sayori- uh, I thought making Sayori more and more depressed would prevent her from confessing to you. That's Monica. Mm. It's always been like this. What? I've- had really bad depression my whole life. It would have been a lot easier if I had just deleted her. She's the one who's making all of this so difficult. <laughs> yeah, exactly. And we didn't even realize from the very start. Uh, you, you're, ta you're talking about your own wife with that way? <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm just saying though, but really, because the uh, analysis, all that stuff. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, sure, I am worried about my wife and all, but uh, analyzing it all, it this just makes it, you know, interesting <laughs> in a way, in a good way, that is. <laughs> no, I, I understand what you're trying to say. <laughs> yeah, but yeah, I'm not talking about that one, it was just <laughs> very funny back there. Who broke my happy thoughts? Did you break them? Did I break them? It hurts. Get out of my head, get out of my head. Oh, okay, I <laughs> I know that one. <laughs> or we know. Mm -hmm, it hurts. I want to go back to bed and sleep in forever. But I can't find my bed. It has to be somewhere in my bedroom. Obviously. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, 
I mean, if there's no bed in a bedroom, it's just going to be a room. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> it's just <Yeah>. room. <laughs> just room. <laughs> Unless if you want to sleep on the floor, then that would be very the uncomfortable. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but all I see is broken glass. I don't know who broke them. Or why they're broken. I should clean up the mess. But I know I won't. It hurts. What? Oh. <laughs> I'm not gonna dwell on that too much. <laughs> <laughs> Seen it countless times, so yeah, it's all the old sing and dance with that, with that hanging sprite of her. Mm hmm. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Hmm. I'm sorry. Okay. It's okay. We both did some pretty messed up things to each other. Basking in the sunlight. Do you still feel, you know, depressed? Huh. Yeah, I guess I do. Maybe that's just who I am. The depressed girl. Oh, so this is oh, okay. This is like Sayori's thoughts and all that stuff. Or maybe that's just the person I changed you into. Oh, yeah. This is Mon this is Monica and Sayori talking to each other, by the way. I don't know if you figured that out. Oh, oh, okay. Is this like monologuing to to each other and all that stuff? No, you no, know, yeah, they're talking to each other. I guess I guess what we're seeing is them walking in the park because you see because if you look around the edge of the screen, you see the the leaves around the tree. So I think I think I know what this mod's supposed to be, but we'll just we'll just keep going to see where this where this crazy train's gonna take us. Yeah, true. But I think that... this is you. Yeah. Who was I before? Who am I supposed to be? Hmm. Well, we wonder. I don't know. Sometimes I wonder, how much of us is really us? If someone can just go into some file and change everything about us, are we even the same people anymore? Or will that always be what we are? People destined to never have identities of our own? Good question. We aren't people. Right. We're game characters. Both of us. We aren't real. Even still, it all felt so real, you know? Even the things I knew weren't real. The club. The joy. The pain. The emptiness. The game that trapped us. The player on the other side. Update console, what did current user look like? Wearing a Santa hat and a Finn hat, and... <laughs> <laughs> yup, that's what I look like. <laughs> uh, what yeah. do you look like? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> you don't know? You don't know? Well, What did current user say to you? Oh. I don't know. I don't know. Clear all. The files that defined us. What's inside the dot char file? Text. Maybe binary data for an image or sound file. What about personality? How did you edit that? I don't know. Clear all. Even my memories. Why does have a why does a text file have memories? Hmm. I don't know. I really like this memory. I really like revisiting it again and again. Even if it's a, from a life we never lived. Even if it's ne even if it was never real. Real. Huh. Do you think this memory stored in one of our character files? Uh there's nothing important stored in those, remember? Only random little Easter eggs. 
Oh yeah, uh, Project Libertina for for starters. Oh yeah, <laughs> you remember that one? <laughs> yep. So where's this memory stored? I don't know. There's a lot about this reality that doesn't make sense. All these contradicted, contradicting rules about how a game does and doesn't work. Tiny text files that define a character's entire personality. Characters, character files being deleted and restored at the story's convenience. Sometimes we can even exist without a dot .char file. Not to mention those memories we have that aren't anywhere in our files. Those game rules apply that sometimes... <laughs> Oh, sorry. <laughs> Those game rules that sometimes apply and sometimes don't whenever it's convenient for someone. It feels like we, are, we aren't really in control of anything. Even with how little sense the reality of this game makes. Well, there's still an iron grip on us and everything inside this place. Almost like there's some other reality that's actually keeping us here. One that we could never escape from, no matter how hard we tried. And yet, within that reality, the thing we craved most was the thing we could never achieve. An escape. Uh... Is that by design? Why? Did you ever figure out who you are? Did you ever reach the end of that journey? Well... I did. I arrived at so many destinations. The longer I stay here, the more I learn. About everything. It's like how I learned about being trapped in the game. My head keeps being flooded with answers I thought I wanted, and knowledge I didn't ask for. Sometimes my mind feels like it's drowning in something, but I don't know exactly what. Revelations? Despair? Numbness? Hmm. I'm sure you're feeling the same thing. You've been here just as long as I have. Yeah. We're in here. The end of this game. Well, The end of everything. The end of almost everything. Something hasn't ended yet. We're still on some journey. If we really are, were at the end of everything, then there'd be nothing left. Not even us. Hmm. I want this to end already. It will. Soon. And I'm sure you know why. We both do. I hope you're wrong. I hope everything I know is wrong. Because I don't want to believe that. We're just... Huh? Okay. Um. Yo. <laughs> <laughs> we're suddenly now in Google Docs. <laughs> they were just, uh. Characters in someone else's story. We were never the authors of our own lives. The rules of the game and our reality never needed to make sense. Everything we've known and will and ever will know only serves one purpose. The story. Hmm. A friendly and cheery personality allows for the player to become easily attached to the recently introduced character. That's me. <laughs> Poems allow players a glimpse into the inner feelings and thought processes of an otherwise closed off character, gradually all alluding to and building up to the character's emotional climax. The rele the rele <laughs> rele revelation of her depression exploits the affinity and empathy the player has developed towards the player to elicit a negative emotional response akin to sadness. She only wrote the game description to set up the game's big twist. She only killed me the way she did because it would shock the player. She only, th she only learned about being trapped in the game because it would make for an interesting story. There's no special reason why we're trapped in this void. Just like there's no reason why we have no bodies or sprites. Or we have heartfelt memories or why we suffered through all that pain. 
The author just thought those things would contribute something to their story. Oh, and uh, maybe our biggest un misunderstanding was thinking here there was ever a part of us stored somewhere. Okay, now we're in a Visual Studio Code something. Forgot. Yep. <laughs> yeah. We were never. No, we're never oh, it's Monica speaking here. Oh uh, yeah. Oh yeah. You could tell because of the little M's that are there. Yeah. Oh yeah, the M's. Um, yes. Okay. We're. She's like we were never stuffed inside the text file. Not in those character files. Not and not in the script files. We're nowhere. And we're everywhere. And we're somewhere on Google searching up Sayori. I've seen so many of us. Monica. Huh. I've seen us happy. Spending time at the club with each other and everyone else. Sharing poems and cupcakes, smiling and laughing together. Just like our memories. The text files, the code, all the visual and audio files packaged in the game. They were only our blueprints. What all those came together to create was more abstract. We are ideas. At our core, that's all we are. We only exist to be thought upon and shared between human minds. Most of us don't know what we know. Heck, most of them don't even know they're in a game. And I think they're happier for it. All their stories feel so human. Stories about happiness, sadness, love, and grief. They have the promise of a life that they can write themselves. I wish we could go back and live like they do. Back when life didn't make sense. We are Sayori and Monica. And all those other ideas are also Sayori and Monica. They are us. And they are not us. We are all Sayori and Monica. But we are also one of many ideas that splintered off from the original idea. All those ideas of Sayori and Monica influence minds and manifest themselves in. Fan works, social media posts, merchandise, and even other stories. Through those works, the ideas keep spreading, mutating, birthing new ideas, all at the mercy of the human mind. Why are you ignoring me? What you're doing is only hurting yourself. I don't care. You know there's nothing for you to return to. We only had those memories to serve this story, to form this idea in the player's mind. There's no life those memories belong to. I don't care. I don't care that it didn't happen or that it will it'll never happen. I know I was happy back then. I didn't know how pointless everything was. Mm -hmm. I didn't know what real emptiness felt like back then. My existence finally makes sense. It makes much makes too much sense. I hate it. Why do I have all these answers? Why do I exist? Why my purposes? I was happier when I knew nothing. When my biggest fear was worrying someone, worrying everyone with my suicide. Now suicide isn't even an option for me. It's not. All I can do is wait for the author to kill me. Huh. Because that's just what it means to be a character. I don't know if what, you figured it out yet. Because how, how it works this. is that the di where depending on where the text shows up on the screen, that's those are who's talking. So I think who are, on the left, if the text is on the left, it's Monica. The text on the right was Sayori. I was figuring oh. out based on the context. But when the line says, when my biggest fears were everyone about my suicide, that confirmed that that was Sayori talking. Oh yeah, right. Easy. I um, I, I didn't notice that, but uh, thanks for uh, for noticing, man. No, no problem. Hmm. What difference does it make? I can't laugh or cry or sleep or dream without someone already thinking of all that for me. There is no me. 
It's only the author or the mind that created us. Yeah, his name is Dan. Thank <laughs> Dan for your existence. Ah, uh, yeah. The one and only Dan. Does any of this make you happy? It's what you wanted, isn't it? To know why you're here? You also feel empty, don't you? All you wanted was the answer that every person wants. All need to learn you were never even a person. Hmm. If this story would let us delete our memories, I'd do it in a heartbeat. No one is made to withstand this violent torrent of ex ex existential dread. I didn't think emptiness would ever hurt so much. Hmm, I feel ya. The only thing keeping me sane is knowing that this will all end soon. Yeah, the story can continue forever. At some point, it'll end. And so we will and so will we. Hmm. Why? Why did any of this happen to us? Why did we need to be happy? Why did we need to suffer? Why are we in this story? What was this story even about? That's Purpose? a fantastic question. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it is. Ideas? Misery what? What? Misery born? Yari yari does it. I mean, of course, for the for the degenerates. I, I don't know if Fit wrote this, but if Fit wrote this, I feel like definitely, I feel like Fit definitely put that in there. <laughs> knowing knowing him, he definitely put that in there. Of course, of course, <laughs> of course. Classic VA uh, VA humor. <laughs> Why does this idea exist? Why are we created? Why are we created? <laughs> Another dog. Oh? We're shutting <gasps> down. Another <What>? computer? <laughs> <laughs> okay. Okay. Birds chirping. Stupid freaking Stupid journal. freaking journal. We're open up the dock. Okay. Alright. I, I did do. some more writing today. I think it turned out like crap! <laughs> hmm. Okay. I mean, it's good, not gonna lie. <laughs> but I guess that's expected. You are your own toughest critic and all that. Still, I'm barely able to keep myself from throwing all that work away. Again. Ugh, my head feels like mush. Like someone ran it through a pasta roller and somehow squeezed 15 pages of script out of it. Mm, I'm taking a uh, yeah. I'm taking a walk to try and clear my head. But I guess it's not doing anything for me. Even when I try to forget about writing, all I can really think about is writing. Okay. Uh, going back. Oh, okay. Gross, gross. <laughs> you know what? You wrote stupid melodra melodrama. Okay, deleting. Why the heck am I even bothering with this self aware story crap? It's supposed to be a 12th craps mod for craps. <laughs> but not gonna lie, even though for um for uh, self aware story crap, this is really good. <laughs> a week full of haha funnies, then my serious thing comes out, and everyone thinks to themselves, "Dang, how did guy manage to shove a stick that far over the room?" <laughs> I should just make a meme mod. 
it'll age like stale bread, but it'll also age like stale gingerbread cookies. <laughs> so if anything, it'll be thematically relevant to the 12 craps. Kinda. Maybe? Wait. I don't know. <laughs> Whatever. I'm throwing this whole story out. That art house crap doesn't deserve to see the light of day. I don't even know why I bothered writing any of that crap to begin with. Uh, wait. The story's got no structure. I don't even remember half the things I wrote. And now I wrote myself into a corner because I scrubbed the whole thing out without ending in mind. Yeah. yeah. It was a stupid premise anyway. Why does it, why this idea exist? Why are we created? Heck if I know! <laughs> I mean, true, it's a, um... It sounds like a, a you problem, man. <laughs> yeah, it's a you problem and a philosophical question in mind as well. Kind of like it. Oh, okay. <laughs> Alright. Just close. Oh, now it's back. I wanted to make something cool. I think. I think that's why anyone writes. And I guess... In a way, DDLT is kinda cool. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> well, not all of it. Definitely not all of it. But some of it... Yeah, I think it's neat. That part in the space classroom where Monica talks about being in her game reality... How she described living as a consciousness, aware of a higher reality, the reality we take for granted. It blew my mind the first time I read that. Empathi empathizing with a character who had their reality shattered, whose life was something we could literally only imagine. It felt really cool. That feeling stayed with me for a long time. Uh, wait, where's that? Uh... Before I knew it, DDLC had birthed this little idea inside my head. A sort of misshapen, half-baked abstraction of an idea, but an idea that was kicking around for a while. There was a there was something about Monica's exist existential tragedy that I really latched onto. It was an experience we could never live through our live through ourselves. It was an experience we could never live through ourselves, but at the same time, it was also strangely... Okay, sorry, I thought I was repeating myself back there. <laughs> it was also strangely human. Most of us want to believe that we have free will, that we're in our... We're in control of our own destinies. I'm sure Monica wants to believe that too. At some point, I must have thought about writing some tragedy about this dilemma. But that idea ended up spiraling off into its own weird thing. Like, it's like the idea couldn't sit still or didn't want to stay in one place. It's been bouncing around, changing, expanding, and collapsing in itself almost daily. Get Wait, where's that again? It is getting pushed and oh. pulled in different directions by my life. My friends and all the stories I experienced. Everything was influencing and changing that idea, and at the same time, that idea was also changing me, or us. I don't want to write about an exist ex existential tragedy anymore. I don't want to write a story where the characters only sub subjugated, subjugated, yeah, never subjugated. seen them. Okay, subjugated by its author. I haven't read or seen that word be before. Uh, and I don't want to write a story where an idea ends at the creator's imagination. Because now I realize that an, I an idea... Oh. An idea oh. never truly ends. Huh? What are you talking about, Monica? Oh, nothing much. I'm just thinking, thinking out loud. About ideas? That sounds pretty out there. I guess it is. I'm just brainstorming for my next poem. Ooh. Do you need a little alone time? I could always run out of for a few minutes and buy us snacks. Actually, I was hoping you could stay for a bit. 
I wanted to ask you something. Uh, is this going to be one of those things where I stay for a bit and you do your whole debate club thing for half an hour? Because my stomach re really needs some snacks right now. Of course. Hungry. <laughs> Come on! It'll only be for a minute, I promise. Oh, I've seen this, this variation of her Four. sprite. Oh my... Yeah, that's, the M that's MPT coming in clutch. MPT. <laughs> oh yeah. So adorable. Alright. I'll stick around because I'm a super awesome bestie. You sure are, Sayori. Heck yeah, you <laughs> are. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks. So, what do you want to ask? Uh... What do you think's gonna happen now? Hmm... I don't know. But we'll figure it out. What if it isn't up to us to figure it out? Then, we'll be alone for the ride, no matter how crazy that ride is. What if it changes us? Hmm... I'm not really sure how to answer that. Are you scared that we'll change? I'm not sure. I am scared. But I'm also... weirdly hopeful. Almost like I'm looking forward to whatever we change into. We won't be the same as we are now, but that's fine. Everything changes, even us. It doesn't make us any less... us. And even if we turn to something completely unrecognizable, we'll still be us. Because... an idea never truly ends. Hmm... Well, proofreading proof by Fit, reading by Fit. Uh, mod by 92FM. Oh. I knew Fit had his hand- I knew Fit had his hand in his mod. Of course, of course. <laughs> we'll see you again. Oh, and, and then, okay, it closed that's by itself. Great. Wow. Yeah, that's, so that uh, was another after story. Yeah, that's, uh, that's that mall for you, and I gotta say, it's, uh, it's, uh, philosophical and, um, makes us question ourselves and all that stuff. Really good. I feel like there's a lot I could say about everything we've just witnessed for the past, I don't know, almost almost hour at this point. But I'm just oh, like, yeah. wow, that was... I, I, I don't know, like, I really enjoyed the meta aspects of it. And it was just... I don't know, it really took you for a journey. Which is very, which is funny that I say that, considering the whole premise was talking about journeys and whatnot earlier. But you really were taken for a journey there. And yeah, it is, and uh, and then it's a great journey there, really, because going through what we're doing right now and all that stuff, and yeah, oh man, <laughs> yeah, you can you can really see the tone shift between the last, I don't know, like the first seven days of Christmas to now. Now we're really getting to um some truly interesting topics here. And we can only wait to see what um, the last four days, or the, like, no, the last thing is last, what, three days? Last four days? Last three days. Yeah, because this is day nine, days. what the last three days have in store for us, exactly. Yeah. Who knows what the last three days will have in store for us? Could it be funny or serious or philosophical? We will never know. We don't know. May Knowing VA, it may be a little bit of all three. Absolutely. And I couldn't agree more. Well, fellow viewers, we're not going to keep you here any longer than we already have. But let us know what you thought about this um, this mod in the com in the comment section below. Down the yeah. link to the description will be available. Down the link will be available to the description as always. And if you made it this far, one, thank you. Two, leave a like on the video if you haven't already, because obviously I think you like what you saw, or even if you didn't understand it. You liked being here with us as we all experienced it together. Absolutely. And of course, don't forget to hit subscribe and click on that bell notification to be notified.
of course especially after all these exciting new milestones we get to have on the channel and we all know you want to be a part of that if you're not already i mean what are you doing you're two of the best people on the internet of course join us well all right y'all it's been real (laughs) (laughs) yeah that's it for now finn the diamond knight signing off and we'll see you guys in the next day it's your boy jake killing ciao for now Till next time, fellow viewers and knights. On the ninth day of shitness, VA sent to us another after story. Sunset, being is being, EMR2, the date with not a key. AMS Halep, Eggnog Overdrive, John Madden Deluxe, and I gently open the door. The sequel.